Hey guys, welcome to our living room. Um, as you can see, we have walls up and that's super exciting. Um, on the floor plan, you can see this is our living room. This is our future TV wall that can accommodate at least an 80 inch TV. So that is super exciting. And behind me, you can see this future floor to ceiling window that looks out to, well, a little trailer for now, but in the future, we'll get to see out in our site yard. So the past week, we've been busy actually just standing these two walls up. Uh, it took a little bit longer than we had anticipated because we were fighting the weather a little bit. And also, this is the first time we're employing this sort of semi-modular building technique that we have so that we you know, can work through this with our super cr small crew of two and three sometimes. Um, so what we did here is we actually assemble all the wall panels on the concrete floor first and we use the excavator to stand them up. Now this is the first time we're trying this method. It was a little bit nerve wracking, but we did it and it, it's proven to be a pretty efficient method for the man and woman power that we have and leverage the equipment muscle power that we can use for this pretty uh, strenuous task. So the way we did this, true to ourselves, is that we had a very detailedly drawn plan. So this is our framing plan, which we've done in, in the computer and see a lot of details in all the dimensions. So we decided to do this as opposed to just, you know, kind of figure on site just to get things done a little bit quicker. And also it gets, allows us to think through all the details that we have to do. For example, um, we have decided to come back and fill those headers and all that stuff, but um, we wanted to figure out that we make sure we leave enough opening and we wanted to not have to do the math on site uh, and panic at doing it, but actually have everything drawn out in advance so that we can just go straight to the cutting and the wall assembly. Now let's talk a little bit more about our assembly. So I think the last time we had a video update, you've seen our concrete foundation done and we have our anchor bolts in place. Now we've gone around and actually uh, put down our sill gaskets and our first layer of the sill plate. Now uh, this is probably not uncommon, but not always done is this double bottom plate here. Um, so for us, because we want to come in and actually elevate the interior floor a little bit um, higher than usual to float over the concrete floor. So we decided that we needed two layers of bottom plate to give us something to nail to when we come back and finish the interior walls later. Now, the other thing that is um, less commonly seen are our two by eight walls. Most of the residential houses will require at least two by six walls these days. Oops. But we opted for the two by eights to give ourselves another two inches of cavity to fill it with insulation. The sheathing here that we have are four by 10 panels. Now this is uh, somewhat unusual than what you probably see most of the time. Um, most of the framer will actually come by and put down their four by eight sheets of um, sheathing and then lay them horizontally. Now with these sheathing panels in order to maintain their strength, you always need edge blocking at their edges, especially with our two foot on center stud spacing. But in order to save our own labor, we decided to go with the four by 10, put them vertically so that our top and bottom plate can actually function also as the edge blocking that we need for the sheathing. So here I am at the front door. This is an opening to be cut out later. Um, under the sun, you can probably see the detail of our brake ledge a lot better. So the intent had always been to actually hang the sheathing, the bottom of the sheathing on top of the same level as the concrete foundation itself. And then we will have a waterproofing layer that comes down past the sheathing itself to the brake ledge. So if we do have water penetration behind the siding, it will follow that main main um, waterproofing layer and drain down and drain away following the brick ledge again. So this worked out the way we had intended to be and we're pretty excited to continue on and finish all the walls. All right, so that's it for the update. We're gonna get right back to it. Hopefully by the end of the week, we'll see all four walls up and you'll see our actual house starting to take shape.